so majorly. Just no We're almost in places. Ten seconds. Yes to luck. Test vibration. Six. Five. Go to black. Four. Three. They're not dolls! Hey, I'm Cookie, and I'm gonna make sweet, sweet love to your brain. Couldn't get anyone to join you, huh? Yeah, I know how you feel. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Invigorade Flavored Shower Heads. Remember, cleanliness is next to gosh darn good taste. Okay, let's begin. Let's start with... You know how when people swear in comic strips and they replace the curse words with exclamation points and asterisks and number signs and stuff? Well, which phrase uses the term for these symbols instead of actually swearing? Learn how to drive your Briffitt's car! Will somebody get my Grolix coffee? Okay, who didn't clean their squeen dishes? Or which blued intern hacked my Facebook account? Now, those little drops of sweat that fly off cartoon characters are called pludes. Doesn't anyone read Kathy anymore? <laughs> Want to see the answer? In comic lexicon, all those symbols that replace swear words are called grawlix. <laughs> they sound like this. You f Don't you ever f***ing question me again or I'll sh till your f***ing mother doesn't recognize you. <sighs> that was rather satisfying. <laughs> Coming up, kitty got back problems. You know what sucks about having cats? I have to take care of them. My cat mayonnaise is pretty easy, but Poopsie has this disgusting problem with her anal glands. I have to drain those things like every two weeks. If I want to persuade my cat Poopsie to properly drain her own anal glands, what song should I play for her? Express yourself, twist and shout, beat it, or let it be. Come on and twist a little closer now. <coughs> Too close? <coughs> the correct answer is... The term used for manually emptying an animal's anal glands is expression. So this Madonna song would be the appropriate song to play. <coughs> Unfortunately, Poopsie doesn't have opposable thumbs, so it looks like it's up to me. Okay, just gotta get in there, play a little pressure. Oh, dear God, it's spraying everywhere. There's, there's so much of it. Who would have ever expected that a cat would have so much anal fluid? Oh, no, it's in my eye. Little help, please. Take a stab at for shizzle my Twizzler. Suppose Eminem became obsessed with M&Ms and only toured with rappers named after other candy made by Mars Inc. Which artist would be a part of the tour? Sir Twixalot, the Black Eyed Pez, Payday La Soul, or Charleston Chutang Clan? Out of all these candies, only Twix is a member of the Mars Candy Corporation. Mars isn't the only candy maker that should get into hip-hop. Doesn't Willy Wonka look like a rap artist? The big purple overcoat, the top hat, and I think he has a gold tooth. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. Hey. Next, Hardy Har Harvard. And this one's a collegiate dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven people. For each one, I want you to tell me if they graduated from Harvard or if they just got an honorary degree from Harvard. If they're a Harvard grad, press the square button. If they're a honorary grad, press your circle button. Right answers will get you into Harvard, but answer wrong and you'll have to go to Yale. And be quick about it. If you answer fast enough, maybe even you can get an honorary degree. All right, let's get started. Conan O'Brien, Bill Gates, Tommy Lee Jones, Stephen Hawking, Rivers Cuomo, J.K. Rowling, Natalie Portman. <sighs> Have you considered getting a degree in refrigerator repair through the mail? I didn't actually go to Harvard, but I do have this t-shirt that says Harvard. 
Cookie, that t-shirt says Moth Diver. I never learned how to read! Where's the Bob girl? Take a good look at, who knows? Which Muppet could pick his nose? Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, Kermit the Frog, or Elmo? While Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, and Kermit are noseless, Elmo has a big ol' orange honker that's just ripe for the picking. If he pokes it in there too far, though, he's gonna feel another finger poking him back. That's the end of round one. Let's hope you do a hell of a lot better the rest of the way. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And keep in mind, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. Enough small talk. Here's a good one, oddballs. You know the website Chat Roulette, where you can get randomly matched up to video chat with a stranger, usually a dude from anywhere in the world? Well, if the odds of some dude flashing you his balls on Chat Roulette were the same as the odds of the ball landing on any given number in real roulette, how often would you be seeing balls? Once every 50 times, once every 38 times, once every 36 times, or once every seven times? There are 38 slots on the roulette wheel, 1 through 36, 0, and double zero. So the odds of the ball hitting any one of those individual numbers are 1 in 38. Actual odds of seeing someone's junk on chat roulette, 5 and 7. Question seven. Why not try... I like to be called a meteorologist. So you know how people make quotes in the air when they're being ironic? Gosh, it's hilarious. Imagine a weatherman telling you about the great weekend ahead. Since the symbol for this weather looks like quotation marks, what conditions should you prepare for? A heavy shower, a few snow... Why didn't you pick this? Get out your umbrellas, you're in store for a moderate drizzle. And as my incontinent friends can attest, a moderate drizzle is usually followed by a warm front. You could definitely use a heavy shower. And fortunately for you, I've got just the thing. You've just won a new Invigorade flavored shower head. Tantalize your hair follicles and your taste buds with the great taste of groovy grape, luscious lemon lime, and the newest addition to the Invigorade family, Cafe Olay. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. Walking chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. And on its way, Lucy in the sky with psychosis. Suppose the Beatles had used Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs to rewrite All You Need Is Love. Based on Maslow's most basic level of needs, what might they have titled their song? All you need is sexual intimacy, all you need is respect, all you need is family, or all you need is sleep. Sleep falls under a physiological need, the most basic of Abraham Maslow's human needs, followed by safety, social, self-esteem, and self-actualization. Of course, he later revised his theory to include football and beer. Hey, he may have been a psychology professor, but he's still a dude. Fuck her up for... Not not. Who's there? Hey, Neuron, why don't you clear out and let Shannon L speak for a minute? Oh, hi, Billy. You want to ask a question? Did I stutter? Move over, you simpleton. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Okay, let me tell a joke. Okay, but is it clean? You mean, do I say s***, asshole, or another Billy! Why? You asked. Any which. 
A red eye, a minister, a nunk, and an Irishman walk into a door. They're shot. Which one would most likely ask for a tonsure? The red eye, the minister, the nunk, or the Irishman? Not much time left. Nunks are known for having tonsure haircuts, where the top is shaved dulled and the sides are left hairy. Hey, Billy, I noticed your hair's a little shorter lately. Did you get a haircut? No, I've got turnites. Hmm, and is that dandruff? No, sawdust. Hold me, never let me go. And my Coming up, it's Trilo Genius. I'm really impressed with how fast those Twilight movies have been coming out. It's as if they know it's a short-lived fad. Anyway, which of these movie franchises had the least amount of time between the release of the first and last movie in the series? Shrek and Shrek Forever After, Back to the Future and Back to the Future 3, X-Men and X-Men The Last Stand, or Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park 3? Back to the Future was released in 1985, and the third was released in 1990, making it only a five-year spread. Now, of course, if you got a hold of a time-traveling DeLorean, you could see all three Back to the Future movies in one day. So I guess that's not really fair. Step right up to the Jack attack. When you see two clues that match, Press the X button. 4,000 bucks if you're right, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong. But keep this in mind. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Red alert. You think it's easy to spot the redhead? We'll just see about that. Good luck. Sorry, I was talking to our band leader. You're on fire! Also, look at the score! Fire or no fire, you have to play the outro music! You know